This tutorial will show you how to make an AWS architecture diagram. Amazon Web Services, or AWS, has tons of products that your organization could be using, so it's important to understand and document how they're being used. Creating an AWS diagram can help you understand, optimize, and evaluate all that infrastructure. Having a visual like an AWS architecture diagram can also help if you're having conversations with less technical stakeholders or external partners, because at a glance, they can more quickly understand what they're working with and what goes into the technology that supports your team's day-to-day -day work. In this tutorial, we're using Gliffy, which is an easy-to-use diagramming app available in Confluence, Jira, and online. You can learn more about Gliffy linked through the info in the upper right, or you can find a link to start a free trial in the video description. This is an example of an AWS diagram that shows how a Varnish deployment was set up. If you know that your architecture is similar to a recommended setup from Amazon, Gliffy might have a preloaded template that will work for you. To check our templates, you can go to File, New, and in the modal that pops up, there's this create from a template option. So I'll click that. And right here, you can see a folder full of AWS architecture templates. So we have two tier, three tier, um, elastic load balancer, a bunch of the most popular services and common deployment structures. So you could pick one of these and it might save you some time if you only have to make a few changes. But let's say you need to make one from scratch. No problem. I'm gonna go to cancel. And again, we can go to File, New. And from here, you have a few choices. None of these are AWS specific, so I'm going to start with a basic diagram. Then I'll click More Shapes. And in here, we have AWS Simple Icons. AWS has tons of services, and each of them receives their own icon. I think there are over 200 icons right now in all. Gliffy has all of them preloaded, and we keep this pretty up to date. If you ever notice we're missing something, there is a button where you can request additional icons here, but we keep an eye on this. So you can check this box and it will preload all those AWS icons into the shape panel here on the left side. You can click to collapse it and click to open it. Now from here, all you need to do is drag and drop the shapes that describe your company's current architecture. So first things first, I want to show you how to quickly find shapes while there are tons to choose from. Up here we have this search function in Gliffy, and so you can search for the things that you need. So I know I have a VPC running, I'll grab this, this is that virtual private cloud icon. I have a EC2 bucket, and so I can search here. I have an S3 bucket, so I can even search bucket and it'll give me those options, or I could always go down and find it under the storage shapes section. That's IOT. Here we go. So you can scroll through and find it here, but it is just so much faster to use this search function sometimes. I know that I'm running multiple instances of EC2, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that for now. And I have the Elastic Load Balancer managing all that, so I can search Elastic Load. Here's that. And then I'm also gonna to wanna to call out that all this ultimately connects to the internet. So here's my internet gateway icon. Now, as you drag these out, you can type to name them. And when it comes to these instances, I personally think it's really helpful to be more specific. So if you have a specific name or numbered convention that you want to apply to be more specific about these, this is a great place to do it to make your documentation super clear. So those are the components within my diagram. I know that I have a subnet running with multiple of these instances. So first I'm going to duplicate this and I just hit Command D and dragged out that copy and then I can hit Command D again and it'll make more. So I've got these four that are running on one subnet. I've selected all of them. I'm gonna hit Command G or Control G to group them. Now when I click on one, it selects all of them. 
And I'm gonna put a box around them to keep this organized and label it as well. And I'm going to click this to remove its fill color so that you can see those behind it. I'm going to make the stroke a dark red, make it a little thicker so you can see it really easily. And then I'm gonna move that text to be immediately below it. All right, so I have that subnet running. I have another one as well. So again, I'm gonna select, I'm gonna duplicate and put that down here. So the reason I'm doubling this is because for this architecture, I'm running two parallel setups. And so I'm going to finish building out one and then do the other. I need another instance. So I'm going to search and grab that icon. And you'll see these faint green lines appearing. These are telling you that you've lined your shape up with other shapes already on the drawing board. So I want it to be lined up with those other ones. That'll keep this looking really clean. And these are on their own subnet as well. So again, I'll drag and drop out a shape. I'm going to remove its fill color. I'm going to give it the stroke. And then I'm going to type to add text. And just like before, I'll put that at the bottom. All right, now I'm going to adjust it around this shape so it doesn't look quite so wonky. All right, and I'll duplicate that. All right, now I'm gonna draw in another rectangle because this is all just creating clear categories for your viewer to understand. Move the fill. I'm going to put a lighter orange stroke around it, and I'm actually going to make this like a dashed line. And I'm going to call this one US West. And I'll put that text below. Resize it. All right, and let's do duplicate with command D, and then this one will be US East. I'm gonna put the text in this one above just to keep it out of the way. Great. So then both of these are operating within one big VPC. So this is where I'm going to move my S3 bucket out of the way and make another box. Again, we'll remove the stroke. And I want my VPC icon on top of this to show that all of this is contained within that VPC. So I'm gonna click this bring to front button right here. You can also do command or control F. That looks good. I'm gonna put it like that so I can read it. And then I'm gonna nudge this up just a little. All right, that looks great. Now we have the elastic load balancer playing a role in here too. So I'm gonna bring this to the front and then I'll use the connector tool, which is right here. And you'll see all these plus icons appear. When you hover over one, it creates a green circle. I'm gonna drag that to right here, and then I'm gonna edit this to add an arrow to show that it's working here. All right, that looks good. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop one more arrow because these are the same setup. Great. Then I have this guy. He is connected outside of that VPC region. And this is a two-way relationship. So I'm going to add an arrow to both sides. All right, that looks good. I'm actually gonna zoom out. This got to be a pretty big diagram on us. 
And right here, I'm going to draw one more big box. And indicate that all of this is connected to our internet gateway. And I'll remove those arrows. Great, that's my AWS diagram. So that's everything you need to know to make an architecture diagram with Gliffy. When you're done, be sure to save and share your diagram or add always up to date links to your diagram in popular tools like Slack, Trello, and more. If you haven't yet, sign up for a free trial of Gliffy via the link in this video description or check out more of our tutorial videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You will be getting compliments on your documentation with diagrams like these in no time. Happy diagramming!